Well, I guess I would just ask you, like, what what exactly do you mean by the biology of transformation? What transformation are we speaking about here? Thank you for that, Ben. And it's good for me to talk about it because I haven't really had many conversations outside of just uh, writing on the topic. But some of it is is my thesis um, talking about these these particular centers where we can look at transformation in a very um, holistic way. And what I'm talking about is the ability for the body to transcend a stressful situation, whether it be an illness or an emotional trauma or something of the like, where we can uh, find the gift. And, and there's actually something that I've been learning from plant medicine, actually. I, I have not been one to activate... Oh, sorry. Okay, I'm back. We'll, we'll get it. Sad a... news. Oh no! What kind of a yeah. bird was it? It's a young kestrel, a sparrowhawk. Uh, no. Uh, one of the smallest members of the falcon family. Oh wow! He was flying so fast. Yeah. So it's unfortunate because oh. I had just ordered these reflectors that we're going to put on the windows, and they came in the mail about three days ago, and I hadn't been able to install them yet. Oh mm -hmm. man! So what I'm a reminder. What a reminder. Today. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, um, yeah. So, okay. Okay. So just to put a, a finishing touch on, on that is we're always transforming something. And the, what I was learning, what I was about to say is that what I've been learning from the world of, of plant medicine, because I have a lot of clients who are utilizing that to assist a transformation, a trauma healing or whatever might be going on uniquely for them. 90% of it needs to be integration and 10% of it is about the transformation. So we want to be able to integrate in our lives, which means having tools of knowing how to transcend different stressors. And there's a biology that happens at a physiological level that is, it's more like it, it, it's the going back to the areas of study that you were in of psychoneuroimmunology. Mm -hmm. It's the body-mind connection. It's how it is that our somatic selves, literally our, our self, is also in relationship with our somatic cells, C-E-L-L-S. And mm -hmm. when we think about that every constituent in our body, every thought creates a hormone. And how is our body utilizing that information? Every second is a, a transformation of some type. And where I'm coming from is evolution. How are we evolving mm, ourselves uh... on the path? Because really it's about how do we get to the place where we can ascend and not and and really have our spiritual nature embodied. It, how how can we do that more? And that's really what that the biology of transformation is about. And I'm borrowing on the turn of biology of belief and bar, from uh, Bruce Lipton and biology of transcendence by Joseph Shelton Pierce. And um, it, they sort of relate, but mine is talking more about this our spiritual nature. How are we evolution? Uh, how are we growing in our evolution? Hmm. Well, that's that's a good question. How do you how do you think we are doing right now? Not that we have to grade ourselves, but you know, <laughs> to to point out at least good room for improvement or obvious obstacles we are coming up against. Um, what are your thoughts on that? I, I think we're in a prime moment in time to check out our own sovereignty and who are we trusting. Mm. And there is a greater divide than ever has been that I've ever seen at, at every turn, whether you're talking about what's going on with the pandemic or the um, how you're dealing with it, if you're doing the vaccine, if you're not doing the vaccine, it's a different sort of racism. It's a different sort of separation. And it, mm. there's a menocide going on. It, it's a, a genocide of the mind. Mm. And we need to be taking back our own minds. So we're at a precipice of 
will we or won't we? And and so th this is everybody's individual decision to make. And mm -hmm. I'm watching people who just succumb to the pressure of doing what, not necessarily what they feel that they want to do. They're not necessarily being true to themselves. They are doing what they feel that they need to do to fit into society. And, and I, I don't care what side anybody falls on. I have zero judgment about that. It, it's, it's our own choices to make. And how are we living in an open-minded, open-hearted place of gratitude as much as possible, a place of love, no matter what decision anybody is making. And that comes down to how comfortable are we in our own skin and calling our own shots and really trusting ourselves. Mm. Sovereignty, our own holistic sovereignty. Yeah. yeah. Make sure you all head over to benjosephstewart.com, become a member. You'll have access to the growing library of deeper dives where I talk about all the stuff that I really can't talk about on YouTube. Make sure you get involved in the Discord chat. That's where a lot of the conversation is happening, talking about new theories, being able to interweave into the greater conversation that is how we awaken infinity. That's our highest potential. And I just want to remind you, you are the most powerful technology ever known to creation. Wield it like an artist with a conscience.